imagine. Right, we're here this on Abuki Island, so exploring around. Yeah, there's not really much around here, just lots of garbage. So and there's a couple of abandoned buildings we're gonna maybe check out. We were told by the police it's not really safe to be walking around here, so. We got you. All right, so this is the main road. Last bid. Look it over. Be better than the start. Last bid, Roger. You could film a horror movie on this island. You could use it. Yeah. Just wait till you get there. There's two. Yeah. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Just remember, stick together and be big. Scare them off. Bootkey Island is a large island next to Bootkey Harbor that was once owned by a billionaire who had big plans for it. He planned on developing it into a nice place, but for whatever reason, never did. Most people don't really know why. It fell into limbo for many, many years, and some years ago they took the bridge out, so the only way to get there now is by boat. I think they're my bullet hole, to be honest. Holy fuck. Did you hear that? Was that you? I just sighed. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> one thing you've got to be, you know, one thing is these people aren't going to be fit on here, so you probably can't run. Let me see if I can pull a slug out of here. Why would oh, you no, want to do that? I think that's like a hat. of people that don't want to be found and although we never ran into anybody we did see some places that were currently being occupied by someone we did hear people talking but we didn't stick around to find out who they were This is actually the radio station.
There is a radio station on the island that's said to be a working AM station that apparently the caretaker lives at currently. We are not sure. We didn't see anyone around. There's lots of boats. There's so many boats. There's our kayak right there. There's a huge boat over yeah, there. There's a, there's a boat that's in good shape. I mean, that's obviously, if you want to talk about a place to come up and hide out for a while on your boat, this is the place to be. Wow. Yeah, people kayak through here. They don't think anybody is here right now. There's another boat there, dude. I'm wondering, I'm wondering for the fucking bus. I see that. I see that right off the bat of West Bailey. <laughs> Somebody working on engines, and I think, yeah, we better get the fuck out of here. Let's get the fuck out of here before somebody comes out. Mm -hmm. I just might have just been busting out of those things. No. Yeah. Yeah, they all gather at the house for uh, the cookout. One old can of beans and six spoons. this stuff get on this island. I mean there's so much shit on here. Absolutely bizarre. It is bizarre. Very it's bizarre. fucking cool. It's very cool, but very we have definitely Twilight Zone stuff here. <laughs> it's a whole other world over here. They don't play by the rules. No, I'm sure they don't. Bunch of old beehives. Why would a bunch of old beehives be on this island? Looks like it looks like maybe a fire and Somebody they all got burned. Someone was collecting honey. What does say? M M Yeah, M M W. There's M M McCoy, that's a that's a famous uh,
very bizarre looking around here with the beehives, the trash, all the camps that were set up, all the junk that was everywhere, don't, all the boats that were on there. It was very, very bizarre looking around here. Stay tuned next week where Dad and I play Tourist for the Day in Key West.